Okay, so today I'm doing a chatty get ready with me. I just find them like really fun to listen to, especially like when I'm getting ready and stuff. Like I personally love them. It's a great way for me to show you guys who I am a little bit more. So I really hope you enjoy. So yeah, let's let's just get right into it. Um, so tonight. I am going to my girlfriend's place and we are having like a, there's six of us gonna have like a girls like wine and charcuterie night, which I'm like super excited for. I haven't had like a girls night like this in like literally forever. Cause I feel like lately since like everything's been opening and stuff, we've been like going out like as we should. We spent like how long <laughs> I'm in lockdown or in a situation where we, we couldn't really go out. So I'm very excited. Um, gonna drink lots of wine, have good food, and just like good old girl chat. And getting a little, little tipsy, you know, a little wine drunk. I'm, I'm probably not gonna drink that much because I'm trying to not drink as much in November because October, September and October were pretty crazy, and I know obviously December will be for Christmas parties. So I wanted to like lay low this month to give myself a little break, you know, um, like reconnect with my energy, heal my energy, and I've honestly been feeling like really good lately, so it's working. Kind of an update, I started Accutane maybe like a week and a half ago, maybe only a week ago. And so far, like I, it's okay. A little backstory, I have always had like really bad skin. Like ever since I was like 16, it just like never got any better through birth control, like every type of acne pro like product, medication and like, um, prescribed um, like topicals, like they did not work at all. So my mom was like really suggesting I should go to a dermatologist and finally I was like, hey, whatever, because like after having acne for like literally 10 years, I just like wasn't as phased by it. But um, yeah, I went and I, I first didn't want to go on Accutane just because I wanted to see if there was like any other method I could try before Accutane. Because I know that there like is a stigma around it, which I like totally understand, and it like works differently for any, everybody. But like one of my best girlfriends was has recently just finished it, and she had a, a great experience, so that made me more comfortable to try it. So, anyways, I went on a couple acne medications that like really cleared up my skin. Like as you can see now, I really have like no acne, but. I figured once I went off the medication, it would like start to come back. And so then I was like, well, what's the point? My dermatologist was like really, really strongly recommended, recommending that I go on it. So I was like, okay, why not? Like it's winter, I'll go on it. So anyways, I've been on acne, Accutane, sorry, for like a week, week and a half. And like just today, if you can see right here, I started getting like really, like more red right here and like I started to get a pimple right there too anyways basically it's all gonna like resurface um, so yeah it's all gonna resurface and my skin won't look so great for a bit but that's like the purging process so like lately I haven't even been been wearing like any liquid foundation but just because my cheeks are a little red today and it's Saturday, I was like, okay, I'll put on some liquid foundation. So if you guys want like an Accutane update or if you want me to talk about it more, um, I absolutely will. So just leave me like a comment below if you are interested in that. But yeah, as I was like just blending in my foundation, I noticed that my skin is starting to get like a little textured, again from the resurfacing. So um, I de I, I'm definitely noticing that it, it's uh, it's starting to to purge, which is obviously like 
Sorry, I'm just doing my concealer right now. But um, it's like the least fun part about Accutane. I mean, I, I would think. But whatever, it will be better in the end and then hopefully I only have to do this once. So I never have to deal with acne like I have had in the past again. Your lips also get like super dry on Accutane like your whole face does because that's what it does. It like dries out your skin. So my lips have been like especially like super dry. And I always like I always use Vaseline and like normally that does work very well for me. However, I find that it's like not moisturizing enough. Like I put it on my eyelids because my eyelids always get dry, but like especially on Accutane, I've been noticing that. It's like so hard to tell <laughs> how I'm how much makeup I'm putting on because I have a mirror right here. But it's like obviously not as close as I would when I normally do my makeup. So when I did my eyebrows, I realized they're kind of like a bit darker than I normally would, but oh well. <laughs> it's a vibe, it's Saturday. So yeah, now we're just gonna go blend that out really quick. My cheeks are so red from the Accutane. Oh well. <laughs> At least I like a lot of blush, so I can put less on and it will match. Um, okay, so now we're just gonna go in with a quick nose contour, and like again, same thing. I'm not putting as much as I would on, so I want to make it match. Um, so I've still been like loving my red hair. Like, I I'm. I'm pretty sure I'm definitely gonna stay with this for a while. Like, obviously not forever because I do love to always switch up my looks, but definitely for a while. Um, yeah, I noticed that like it's been fading a little bit as like any color would the more you wash it. So my girlfriend, oops, um, one of my girlfriends, she had pink hair before, and she bought like a pink conditioning mask from this website called Overtone. So I just bought like a mini um, size of the ginger and the red for brown hair color because my hair isn't really either. Like obviously Lisa, my hairdresser, made it like the tone really natural for me, but on this website there's less to pick from, obviously. So what I'm gonna do, I haven't, I haven't gotten it yet, but um, I'm gonna mix the two together and dilute it with my conditioner so it will only be like the slightest tint um, overlay because I don't want like it to like really change the color. Like I don't want to change the color at all, it's like perfect. But I just want when it like fades a bit more to enhance it. And uh, that I would only use like once a week anyways. Like nothing crazy, it's just like will help like rejuvenate my hair so I don't have to go to the salon more often. Um, Cause I only get my hair done once every like three and a half to four months. Um, so like I just got this done a couple weeks ago. So I probably won't go get it like dyed again till like end of January beginning of February-ish. Um, might like go in for a tone in between, like depending on how much the color holds. And let's say if those masks like don't really do too much, like just do a little bit, but not too much. I will, yeah, I'll definitely go in for a tone in between because yeah, I just want this color to last. And obviously if you pay a lot of money for something, you want it to last, but um, yeah, like I obviously knew going into this it would be a little bit more high maintenance, but my mental health is like through the charts, like with this new hair, like I don't know about you guys, but I always love to switch up my look somehow. Just always gives me like a battery fresh, like more creativity. There's like more stuff to do with my outfits and hair and just like overall, like it's like fun to, to change things up. I wanted to get a new highlighter because I basically only use that Anastasia Beverly Hills 
palette that I've showed in a previous video. And I love all the colors. It comes with six colors. I love them. However, I'm just getting kind of bored and want to try out something new. But I didn't want to spend a ton of money. And I, I like to invest in a better highlighter. Like if it's more expensive. Like I, I wear it so much. I, I don't mind. And I want it to be a nice highlighter. Because I feel like some of them could look like pretty chunky. Like chunky glitter. Or just like not glittery enough. Or not shimmery. So... I decided to opt out this time and I'm just going to keep my eye out for anything that sparks my eye. So if you have any highlighter recommendations, please <laughs> leave a suggestion below and I'll definitely look into it. So for highlighter, I still put the same amount on. It has nothing to do with my new hair. Um, I love highlighter, like, as I mentioned, so I always put a ton of it on. And then, just going to blend, blend, blend. Okay, so I just finished my mascara, so here is the almost finished makeup look. Um, again, gotta do the lip after, but I think I'm gonna go off camera and do my hair, like, super quick. I'm gonna curl it, then I will show you guys my outfit that I'm gonna wear tonight and yeah that will be it okay so I just finished my hair curled it I left it be for a bit so we can cool down so now I'm just gonna put some hairspray in and some dry shampoo for some lift so I okay, I recently got my, my hairdresser Lisa uses on me all the time but I love it it's the Kevin Murphy bedroom hair hairspray textured hairspray it cute first of all it smells amazing and second of all it makes your hair look so good like just give me give me a sec let's let's put it in okay sorry the mirror is like right here This looks amazing. It gives it like such nice volume and texture and leaves your hair feeling great. So all in one, a win. And I usually just go like this with it in. Okay, and now we're just going to put some, I use the Batiste. Um, this is the Heavenly Volume Dry Shampoo. And this I just obviously put at my root some volume up there. All right, so here is the finished look. Um, I just added a headband on to dress it up a little bit more. Added some jewelry as well, and of course the lip I was talking about. And here is the outfit I chose. So I wanted something cute but casual because I didn't feel like dressing up a ton. So I'm wearing this open for to top that I got, um, buttoned all the way up. And I rolled up the sleeves, added some rings as well. This one's really pretty. It has 333, my angel numbers on it. Um, yeah, just some black jeans as well, and then I'm gonna put on some boots. But I'm like really happy with this outfit. So that's the end of my chatty get ready with me. I had so much fun filming this, and definitely want to film more in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed too, and like always, if you have any questions or comments, leave me one below. Like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys for the next video. Have a great night.